It's uh, 84 Caprice. The, the key in the column is shot. No key in here. So that's what we're gonna fix. Uh, it's an out of the market steering wheel, so I'm gonna show you what to do if you got a factory steering wheel. Um, and for some of you all who had a billet type steering wheel, I know how to work with those too. But excuse all this. We got another motor, so I'm taking that ECU out. Uh, radio won't cut off. This is a remote start and some other stuff in here. A whole bunch of junk in here that you're taking out, so I'm taking care of that. But just in case you're wondering, that's what's going on with this car. This is not my car. Um, if you have a factory steering wheel, here and here, you will have, on this piece, two 7mm bolts. Take the back of those off. That come off. Um, I'll hook your horn, and it'll be a bolt right here. Take that off, and uh, get your harmonic balancer puller or steering wheel puller. Um, the harmonic balancer puller, if it's a small one, it'll work, but the steering wheel puller, it'll work for sure. Put it on, take the steering wheel off. Uh, if you have a billet type steering wheel, you want to take your horn centerpiece off. Um, all your bolts off for your adapter. Steering wheel off. And take your uh, adapter off. And then you should be down to this piece here. But I'm going to go ahead and get this steering wheel off and then cut you back on. Before you get into it, this is what you're going to need, um, some kind of tool set. I'm not sure what the steering wheel bolt size is, so I just brought my half inch just in case. Uh, the harmonic balancer steering wheel puller, whichever one you want to call it. This is a small one, so I know the work I used before in the pick set. But yeah, about to go ahead and get into it. Alright, how to do some drilling. How this piece and the whole everything. Boy, he ain't had a key for this, so back on track. I'll take this nut off, and then you're gonna put a steering wheel puller in these holes. So I'm taking this off now. So, steering wheel puller go in these holes. You just two, whatever you pick. Right, uh, and then we'll go from there. This don't even line up on the I was in. The horn was never hooked up. That's where the horn go. The plug ain't even in there, but. I'm going to continue on now. Alright, to this point, got all this off. So, let me get some focus in. So, that locking ring, that should go to get off now. Uh, I have a lock ring set. Let me try to see what we can do with that. So, this was the piece holding my steering wheel on. With his steering wheel on. It'll be much simpler for you all who have the OEM wheel. Um, I had to get that off with a hammer. Just pry easy on each side, each side. Until it pop off. But yeah, I'm about to uh, go ahead and get the lock ring off now. I got it off for the most part. You can see. So I'm just going to work my way around. And it's with this small pick set. People were saying that that's gonna be too hard with just push this piece back hard as you can stick your pick behind it so I have one with a hook this one has a curve it slants that way and I got a straight one but this the one that worked now right, we got that off I'll set this over here so I won't lose it next oh, you got to take all these screws out so to get it that top screw Got to push the turn signal to the right. So up this screw, move, remove this black plate. This screw here, screw down there. It look like it, like that's it. And then we we pull this whole unit off as a whole. All right, got all those screws off. So this piece here sits like in the middle of this uh, turn signal basically hold it up with this little notch and then that screw sit in this channel and lock it in place so this you just shake come loose eventually then you gotta take the hazard out and this unit should just slide out and we're just gonna push it over and it's gonna be a little hole for the key let me show you how the key is even made right now 
So it's just a slit holding this key in right here. Once you take that out, you should be able to pour the whole cylinder out and put the new one in. All right, real easy, real simple. There was a screw that hold it in. Sit right there like that, all the way in though. Take it out. Make sure you don't bend these. But once you take that screw out, the old cylinder come out. And you put that new cylinder in. see something okay yeah see that was my problem it can turn in any position let me let me show y'all I got it back sorry for the shaking it's at least at least I'm, I'm doing some help you know look it could turn with no key that was the initial problem with this cylinder but it's good now so put a new cylinder in and then you're gonna reverse all the steps 